Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup on this Thursday, October 14th. Hope you're doing well. We are uh, we are cooling down in Oklahoma finally. We should uh, we may get in the 40s uh, Saturday and Sunday morning. That'll be nice. Looking forward to it. Lots going on today and this weekend. Right now, I extended this one week. So through Monday Night Football, you can join us. For 25% off, use the code GREEN25. Come check out all the new tools built in-house from the ground up. The lineup optimizer, NFL tools, golf tools, everything is on fire, doing well. Subs are doing well. Uh, This whole month has been awesome across all the sports. It's a great time to come check us out, and you get a free seven-day trial. So risk-free. If you don't like it within seven days, you can cancel any time. Certainly appreciate all the support and all the new members that have joined in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's been not, been nice seeing new faces come into the GC Warrior Room, our premium Slack channel um, that is always hopping with somebody in there. Rate and review us on iTunes. That is where I go to get some of our biggest winners when we have a big giveaway like the Masters, uh, NFL playoffs, etc. Like this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, it helps a lot. And tell me in the comments section, this will get you into the weekly drawings I do. Your favorite captain play tonight uh, for the Bucks versus the Eagles. Uh, Bucks go on the road as a road dog on a short week. Underdog, use the code GUP, get $10 when you deposit $10. They still have their NBA best balls up. NBA starts next week. They have daily sport pools as well. Tonight, they have the Thursday night rumble. 10 bucks get you in, 50,000 in prizes. Sunday battle royal, five bucks, 60,000 in prizes. Uh, They have MLB for the playoffs. They have a London London game slate as well for the Sunday morning. And I'm sure they'll be loaded up on NBA next week. Use the code GUP. All this is in the description uh, to get a free 10 bucks when you deposit $10. Uh, PGA update, we are CJ Cup went live earlier this morning. Uh, ownership was uh, this one of my better no no cut limited field events are very tough. That and, and the Masters in general because I kind of treat it as a <laughs> limited field, even though there is a cut. But uh, um, very once you eliminate all the people that have no shot, uh, it's it's somewhat limited. It's sometimes hard uh, to nail down ownership. It's generally flat. Um, I had one person over 20%, winded up being three wise, Morikawa and Shoffley barely over though. The highest own was uh, Shoffley. This is in the, I think $15 flop shot at 21.5%. Um, but 86, almost 87% are squared. I'll take that in a no cut event any given time. Um, JT was a lot lower than, well, not a lot. I mean, 4% is not horrible off, but I really thought, most would go there. Um, I mean, DJ had spot on. I was 0.26% off, so I thought people would go there, but not really. Um, Rory, they didn't go there either. He was, I think he was the cheapest. Um, I think he, I think he was the cheapest, and Spieth was $200 more. So I thought people would go to Rory. They did not, not as much. I had 15.7. He was 10.87. Um, Gooch, I knew would be popular, didn't account for it. The two that I, I knew would be popular but didn't put enough. I talked about Neiman, uh, continuously continued to not put him up high enough. Um, Gooch was 15%. He came in at 19. Neiman, 14.5 is what I had. He came in at 18.9. I was looking for Spieth. Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah. I had him at 10.0, and he came in at 8.0. He was the one I was worried about coming in a lot higher than I thought. I I kept bringing it down, bringing it down throughout the week just because he's, I don't want to say he's Tiger-esque, but there was a time, and when he's popular, he's real popular. Um, We've not really had Tiger on DFS per se, but uh, we have, but not not like 2001 Tiger. Um, But even when Tiger was rolling, you know, he he was still popular here lately. But Spieth generally, you know, back 17, 18 and stuff, he would would get up there. Um, But I kept didn't, you know, I just – I had it low and it, he actually came in lower than I thought, eight percent. So, really balanced for the most part. Um, you know, Shoffley and Morikawa, that that was no surprise to anybody. Vegas was up there, who was pretty popular. Um, I had him at eighteen, came in at sixteen point three. Uh, Davis was the other cheap kind of popular. I had fourteen. He only came eleven point nine, which I'm kind of happy for because I, I definitely have him. 
And then Usti was a guy I figured would be pretty popular and playing well. Had him almost spot on at 17.23. Um, uh, English was a guy that I felt like I heard a lot about, but maybe the miscut last week and the putting, um, you know, I had him at 10.4. He came in at 5.6. That kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, all the rest pretty tight. Oh, the biggest surprise, which ironically, I just pulled, <laughs> just pulled the live uh, update on the leaderboard before I came. Uh, Rose, I had at 4.1. He came in at almost 10%. I don't, I didn't see that coming at all. I don't think I could have redone it and got to him being that high with so many options on the board. I don't, I don't know how he got that. High. Maybe it's just a name people know. And it being that I have, I have no idea. I, I mean, it was, you know, it's not too far off from my deal, but you know, I completely missed on that one. Um, he is right now dead DFL at plus four. So, uh, I don't have any rows. Um, so I guess I'm happy because of that, but I still don't understand, um, that much love for him in this type of event. 7,900. There was others I would have thought, you know, Nah was just underneath him. See Wu Garcia. They're all cheaper. Um, Adam Scott, you know, was right above him. I, he was just, you know, Reed, which I knew Reed wasn't going to be high on, but that one kind of surprised me. He's not off to the best of starts, so those 10% probably aren't too happy. Um, Robert Streb, as I take the air, is seven under through nine. He started birdie, birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie. Uh, so probably almost kills any kind of first-round leaders that we have going because I do not have Robert Streb. I did not play Robert Streb. Um, let's just see what he is now that I got it pulled up. Oh, uh, where'd you go? I'm going to look at the bottom. He was the fourth from the bottom on 0.46%. Uh, we have Kim Lee, Kim, and then Streb, and then Kim. <laughs> so uh, not many have him. The few that do are, are looking very good right now. Notables, uh, Cam Smith, minus four, Wise, minus three, and then McNeely, Vegas, Webb, M, Matsu, JT, and Shuffler, all minus two, being a popular number. It's still very early in the day. Next three weeks, we got the Zozo Championship in the Japan, back in Japan uh, next week. Cantley defending when it was over here last year. Um, going back to the course it was at the first uh, couple years. The uh, Bermuda, I think that's going to be the combined first combined Euro PGA event now. Um, Gay was the defending winner there. And then the Mayakoba, where Hovland is the defending winner, our next three weeks on PGA as we march to, uh, I think we got five events left. Four or five before we get a pretty good little uh, first break in what seems like forever, like real break. Um, probably won't be doing much for the hero challenge with 19 guys or whatever it is. Um, so we got the Zozo Bermuda, my Kobe, I just said, then we get Houston and RSN. So two more after those three, then, uh, the hero will probably, you know, just talk about that. DraftKings may or may not even have nothing for it. I think it's a 15, 20 man field. Um, and then that's it in, until the tournament of champions, January 6th. Um, we're full fledged in college football, NFL and all that right now, but we are continuing on PGA NFL tonight, Thursday night showdown bucks minus six and a half over under 52 and a half, uh, bucks implied score 29 and a half to 23 Gronkowski is out. Um, Dallas Goder is tested positive Tuesday. He has to have two negative tests 24 hours apart to be able to play tonight. Um, Probably highly doubtful he gets all that in. I know my article and everything I did, I went on the assumption he would not be able to play tonight. It really does open up the slate with value and potential options. Ertz probably pretty chalky. Um, my prediction is 31-26. Um, Eagles cover at home, but Bucks get the best of them. And probably a, a little bit higher pace, higher scoring game. Uh, two big injury concerns for the Bucks got cleared up earlier uh, just a little bit before I go live, uh, the center, Ryan Jensen, and then uh, they have him as linebacker, but he kind of plays stand-up in it too. Uh, JPP, we're all familiar with, um, is are both coming back. I think that definitely helps the Bucks. Small downgrade to Hurts with JPP back. I think he'll help them keep him in check, but he's still alive to get goal line touches and carries and touchdowns. Um, Gronk being out for sure, that you know that gives boost potentially to Bray or O.J. Howard. Um Goder being out probably 
probably see more three wide more than anything. Um, definitely a huge upgrade to Ertz. That's without saying Jack stole 200 bucks. Dead men is the uh, other tight end that'll come in. He has not seen a target at all this year. Um, but, uh, Godart and Ertz have, I think 42 combined targets. So probably worth an MME flyer there. If you want to go that way, I, I think it kind of brings more value to Watkins or, um, Rager in the sense of getting, um, I'm sorry, Watkins or Ward. Rager will be on the field, but if they go three wide, Watkins and Ward could see more uh, an uptick in, in uh, snaps today with with uh, Godar out. Um, it's interesting slate because you got two stud quarterbacks, definitely priced up, but you have so many weapons. Um, you know, Monday slate, which obviously went really well. Uh, my article is great. Hopefully, you guys cashed as well. Um, I was I was up a hundred thousand at one point. Um, ended up finishing third in the two twenty two for, um, and then I was uh, uh, one point eight points away from the milli. I think um, so. Cleared about twenty five thousand on Monday. It was a great night. Uh, everything I wrote up in the article in depth. I know I do the pod for everybody, but I do go more in depth on the article was pretty spot on. This is a, a very challenging one, but it was so isolated because you had Lamar and you're going to get him in. Um, I, I mentioned uh, Andrews was too cheap, even though I kind of liked Brown, you know, but if I wanted to get, get unique at captain, Andrews was kind of there. But um, it, it because of the Godard deal, it definitely opens up where quarterbacks can now be in play at, at captain. And they'll probably be the two highest, I would imagine, Hurts and, and Brady, because you can, even if you want to get down there and put a, a ward in your lineup or a stall or something like that, uh, Tyler Johnson, um, you know, and obviously Ertz at 2,400, or I think he's 3,200 maybe, um, really open, 3,200, yeah, really opens up the quarterbacks there. So I think you have options tonight if you're, if you can stomach fading the quarterbacks at captain, um, you know, guys like Devonte Smith, Antonio Brown, maybe even Ertz, maybe Ertz gets high owned, but not maybe as high as quarterback or, or captain. Cause people, you know, feel a little funny about putting a, that cheap of a guy up there. And does he really pay off? Can he get the raw enough points to make it all work? Uh, I certainly don't mind that. You got guys that won't even hardly be touched just because of recent uses like miles Sanders, potentially in play saw a little bit more uptick last week um godwin's been kind of the forgotten man as of late does he break out um you know kind of like robert woods did a week ago um we had plenty of woods that night uh not as good night as monday but definitely profitable night um that's an option as well if you want to go that way if i go quarterback at, at captain i probably lean hurts um just because he can get usage on his own especially the rushing brady can do well but if he's um, if he isolates on one guy, it kind of hurts him because that one guy can go off. If he spreads it out, then Brady could be a good play as, as, as well. But if they get down close and they start getting some rushing touchdowns, which most of the time it's not going to be Brady, you know, it kind of takes a little bit away from him in the way you're paying up. Um, I kind of like that we get the value play there because now you get the quarterbacks being more popular at captain. You can spin off of that a little bit and make some unique builds, especially your large field MMEs. You know, you got, you know, Mike Evans is right there. Um, Fournette is, is, would be a, a cheaper pay down option. This is a game that most people are going to be game scripting, you know, a lot of points, probably, you know, Eagles behind trying to catch up back and forth potentially. So running backs probably overall could be down a little bit. I think Fournette would be a little bit higher than, than obviously anybody on the Eagles running backs because he, he has shown the ability to catch the ball as of late. Um, so I don't hate him as well. Um, definitely boost to Watkins and, and Ward as long as go, go to out. Like I mentioned, kickers are in play. I think the defense could be in play, actually. Um, both are kind of scrappy. Um, they, can, they, they can score at times, get sacks. Brady's been sacked. Um, the Seagulls, he's probably better than what you would per, presume, perception type. But, um, you know, they're cheap. And on this kind of slate, I, I wouldn't mind – tossing in some flyers in, in an MME type deal or the Millie maker, if you're going that route, cause they could get the, and another reason is with Ertz, if he, you know, go to Ertz out, Ertz is priced below the kicker. So it really will pull some of that ownership off the kickers that we normally see. So great pivots there. Um, definitely spots tonight to get 
your pivots and your uniqueness in by all means. Uh, and like I mentioned, you got OJ Howard stall, Tyler Johnson are all flyers down at the bottom that you could take, take a chance on. Um, Bernard's back last week, gets a touchdown, um, kind of priced up with it. 5,200. I don't know how much I like that. Cameron Brates right there with OJ Howard, although OJ is much cheaper. Um, and then you still got Ronald Jones, but what's his, where, where is he fitting this offense with Bernard back and, and, um, Fournette getting so much usage um should be a fun one really looking forward to it my full breakdown and picks um or options are in the article on the site um monkey knife fight we've hit four in a row four slates in a row let's make it five tonight use the code gups g-u-p-s deposit up to 100 bucks to get a free 100 bucks um, so dollar for dollar match there. I'm going with a more or less five X. Uh, we hit our Monday night ones. Um, I'm going back here a little bit harder on the props tonight because the, uh, bucks can spread it out. Uh, definitely like Devonte Smith tonight a lot in the prop market, but my favorite on this is a more or less five X Devonte Smith over 74 and a half yards, Leonard Fournette over 65 and a half rushing yards. And then Antonio Brown over five and a half catches. All three of those happen. We get 5X our money. That is my favorite one on monkeyknifepie.com. That link and all the other links are in the podcast if you like to check that out or um, underdog <clears throat> as well. The um, coin flip will be out later today. Me and Ryan's full slate main, main slate breakdown will be out um, probably halftime of the Thursday night game or um, definitely in time for your commute tomorrow morning. The read option college football podcast with Bobby Berger out tomorrow. I will go live nine o'clock Sunday. We got definitely going to have some last minute things we're taking a look at, um, especially the guys like Cook. Uh, Cook and Madison are both questionable. Does CMC finally make his return? Um, several things we'll need to be looking at um, Sunday morning. Like I mentioned, tools and, and the Green Machine Optimizer, come check them out. We finally got everything built from scratch that we feel great about continuously taking y'all's feedback and upgrading as well. But we feel proud enough to, to boost up a little discount. Come check it out. Free seven day trial included. You don't get charged until your seventh day or actually after your seventh day. So you can cancel any time before that. And you never see a charge green 25, get you 25% off. And I will see you guys later on for coin flip. You guys have a good afternoon and talk to you later.